sheet layout sheet sizes the preferred sizes of the drawing sheets recommended by the bureau of indian standards bis are given below as per sp 46 2003 the layout of the drawing on a drawing sheet should be done in such a manner as to make it reading easy and speedy the figure shows an a1 size sheet layout all dimensions are in millimeter margin margin is provided in the drawing sheet by drawing margin lines prints are trimmed along these lines after trimming the prints would be of the recommended trimmed sizes of the trimmed sheets border lines clear working space is obtained by drawing border lines as shown in the figure more space is kept on the left hand side for the purpose of filing or binding if necessary when prints are to be preserved or stored in a cabinet without filing equal space may be provided on all sides borders and frames sp 46 2003 recommends the borders of 20 mm width for the sheet sizes a0 and a1 and 10 mm for the sizes a2 a3 a4 and a5 the frame shows the clear space available for the drawing purpose orientation mark four centering marks are drawn as shown in the figure to facilitate positioning of the drawing for the reproduction purpose the orientation mark will coincide with one of centering marks which can be used for the orientation of drawing sheet on the drawing board grid reference system zone system The grid reference system is drawn on the sheet to permit easy location on the drawings such as details, alterations or additions. The rectangle of grid along the length should be referred by numerals 1, 2, 3, 0 etc. and along the width by the capital letters A, B, C, D etc. as shown in the figure title block space for the title block must be provided in the bottom right hand corner of the drawing sheet as shown in the figure the size of the title block as recommended by the bis is 185 mm into 65 mm for all designations of the drawing sheet The figure shows the simplest type of a title block. All title blocks should contain at least the particulars as shown in the table. List of parts or the bill of materials. When drawings of a number of constituent parts of an object are drawn in a single drawing sheet, A list of these parts should be placed above or beside the title block in a tabular form. It should provide the following minimum particulars for each part: part number, name or description, number of that is quantity required, material and sometime stock size of raw material and remarks. folding marks folding marks are made in the drawing sheet they are helpful in folding of prints in proper and easy manner